medo ou coragem que te motiva a ser de carne. Decepticons are another Cybertronian faction that mostly transform into fighter jets and relics from the past. You've got flash cameras and cassette players, which are certainly weird, but they still serve their purposes. And then you have a World War II era handgun. Why Megatron used to transform into a Walther P-38 is anybody's guess. Perhaps he was feeling nostalgic over a war from a distant past that he himself had nothing to do with. In a completely different planet, far from his own. Like, he really liked that gun. So much so that he even manipulated his own mass in order to be wielded by his underlings. He was so adamant about his aesthetic that he bent reality itself to make it all work. That's a level of commitment that is incredibly difficult to wrap one's head around. Megatron also invested in stocks, huge scopes, and silencers, which sounds... Kind of, uh, like when you customize an old horse carriage with spoilers and LED headlights. Like, who cares? What was the point of all that? He's out here trying to impress his friends when he should be leading his faction to victory. And that's why they stay losing. This guy also appointed one of the most treacherous dude as his second in command, which is insane. And he's got a wide array of excuses for the appointment. Some days Megatron would claim that it's easier to keep his eyes on Starscream this way. And other days he would claim that Starscream is unfit to roll anyway and that nobody would ever consider him a legitimate contender. It's all a bunch of nonsense. They're not really reasons. None of it actually details Starscream's qualifications as a high-ranking official. In fact, he should have been court-martialed a long time ago and thrown in robot prison for multiple counts of treason. In other words, he's a terrible employee, but Megatron's an even worse boss. You don't keep an employee around with a history of attempted murders on the boss. That's just bad business. Starscream is a single-minded dude who is just constantly scheming and planning Megatron's demise. Like, that's all he ever does. He's so focused on orchestrating coups that he also neglects his duties. So you've got both the chief commander and a second in command that does absolutely nothing. For a long time, it was left to the grunts to push back against the Yautabot threat all by themselves. At some point, Megatron started to realize the error of his ways. That he'd been spending too much time on his alt mode aesthetics and not enough on the war effort. So he wisely abandoned the Walther P-38 look and started to try out more conventional disguises. He tried being a tank, an alien spacecraft, stealth bomber, truck, an old truck, helicopter, a bigger gun, race car, gaming console, dragon. Now Megatron spends most days thinking of new alternate modes instead of leading the Decepticons. And Starscream continues to remain in his post as second in command. Oh, they truly are an incorrigible pair. I'm a jar full of doll heads and this has been another episode of Animal Facts. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more factual animal facts. Have a wonderful animal day.